Today, the Federal Open Market Committee kept interest rates near zero and maintained our current pace of asset purchases. All right, so we got through that Fed meeting yesterday, and once again, Jerome Powell did a fantastic job of perfectly walking that tightrope to say just the right things to really not spook the market anyway. At two o'clock, when the, the Fed news first hit, the SPY was trading at 438. Four o'clock when the market closed, it closed basically right at exactly 4.38, with just two hours worth of, of volatility going on in there. So what was actually said at the Fed meeting? A little bit vague, like always, but basically two things that we're paying attention for is tapering and a little bit further out, is the dot plot. When are the interest rates gonna start increasing? Are they ever gonna start increasing? So first of all, tapering. Powell has repeatedly said there will be no interest rate increases until tapering is fully done, tapering of the asset purchases. So currently we're buying, I think it's $120 billion worth of assets per month. And tapering basically means that we will slowly be buying less every month until we get down to zero. It was it was really interesting because he didn't say when tapering is going to start, but he said when tapering is going to end. He said tapering should end sometime mid-2022. He also said that the tapering pace should be very gradual. A gradual tapering process that concludes around the middle of next year is likely to be appropriate. But he didn't say exactly when it's gonna start. He implied that it could start as early as next month, as early as October. I know a lot of economists think that it's really gonna be more like December, but it should be starting somewhere between October and December is when the taper should begin. But he's telling me it's gonna be a gradual process. How are you gonna be able to taper that amount of money gradually and be done by the middle of next year. You're gonna do a gradual tapering of 120 billion in asset purchases per month and be able to get that all the way to zero in six, seven, maybe eight months. I think that that's a little bit difficult, but all the same, that's gonna happen prior to there being any interest rate increases. So we do have a little bit more clarity from the Fed. And of course, it's with all of the usual caveats of we have to see improvement on inflation and the job numbers and everything else. And if anything happens, then we could push all this back out further. So what does it actually mean? In theory, tapering should mean an increase in interest rates. In practice, we saw interest rates drop on his comments today. So one of the things that I've spoken about for a while to the team of traders that I'm working with is, is that actually gonna be true, right? A lot of times in theory, the way things work in a textbook and the way things actually work in the market are, are, are two totally different things. So will tapering actually really bring an increase in interest rates and the market's supposed to be a forward looking mechanism? How much of this is actually already priced in the market? All of this is to be determined. And whether or not that dot plot, I think they're saying now the first increase interest rate should be in 2022. I think the dot plot has three for 2023. But at the same time as we have all these dot plots, Jerome Powell says not to listen to the dot plot. So who knows? I feel like I've seen this movie before where there's this dot plot that is some amount of time or even years into the future. And then it never actually ends up playing out that way. A lot of questions out there. What we do know is if interest rates do increase, that is not going to be good for tech. And that tends to be better for financial type companies, uh, value type plays, energy type plays. A lot of questions are still to be answered, but we do know that Powell's a good speaker. He said all the right things. The market did not get spooked. And like I said, although we had a lot of volatility between two and four, at the end of the day, we closed exactly where we started. So we'll see.